Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca and if it's your first time joining me then it's a great day for you to be here because I am going to be talking about dozens of products from dozens of brands. I'm looking down at my table of products and there's a ton of stuff here. And I'm actually going to be talking about what I think is one of the best Black Friday beauty sales, specifically the Derm Store Black Friday sale. This video is in partnership with Derm Store, so thank you so much to Derm Store for working with me. All opinions here are my own. I've personally shopped Derm Store for years, probably over eight years, and I really love the experience of shopping with them, and so I'm really excited to partner with them on this video to talk about all of my favorites. The Derm Store Black Friday sale starts today, November 20th, and you can get up to 30% off. I've always had a really positive experience shopping with Derm Store for many years. I think they have great customer service, and the thing that I love most actually is their point system. So if you become a member, you essentially earn 5% cash back on your purchases. So every dollar you spend, you earn five points and you can redeem 500 points for $5. The best part about this is that the points are redeemable to any brand without brand exclusions. So you can apply those dollars off to any brand that they carry. I think this is great because they not only carry the kind of more splurgy beauty items, they also carry everyday staples, the kinds of things that you may want to stock up on for yourself or for your household even. I'm going to talk about all of my favorites that Durham Store carries from skincare to hair care to body care to makeup. And everything I talk about will be linked below. I'm also going to have an accompanying blog post that'll be easy for you to refer to and I will link that in the description box as well. This is going to be a long video, so let's get right into it. Starting with skincare, I'm going to speak about brands in the order of highest markdown, so the highest percentage off to the lowest percentage off in descending order in each category. First up, we have Dr. Dennis Gross, which is one of my favorite skincare brands and they are going to be 30% off select dates. Now, Dr. Dennis Gross carries some of my favorite products. They are some of the most effective and results-driven brands that I have in my collection. They're probably best known for their Alpha Beta line, specifically the Alpha Beta peels. I have the original strength version here, and basically this is a two-step peel pad of pre-soaked pads. The first step includes a blend of acids, so you get glycolic, lactic, salicylic, and those will work to chemically exfoliate the skin, to improve skin turnover, and especially I've noticed they, these refine texture very, very well. The second step is the neutralizer pad. So basically after the two minutes are up, you are going to go in with the neutralizer pad all over your face, and if you feel any tingling in those two minutes, the second step will neutralize any of that and kind of take down the activeness of the original pad and then you can move on with the rest of your skincare. For me, this is a very effective and also very potent treatment. So it's something that I wouldn't use more than once a week. You can buy these in different packs of like 30 or 60 or you can buy them in jumbo packs and this is the original strength, but they also come in gentle and extra strength if you're looking for that like serious oomph. I also really love the retinol plus ferulic eye products from Dr. Dennis Gross. So there is an eye serum as well as an eye cream. The serum is a little bit more lightweight and it's something that I like to wear under a richer eye cream, but if you want it all in one step, you can definitely just go for the eye cream. Personally, I really like to have a targeted retinol eye cream or eye serum because even though I use retinoids in other parts of my skincare routine, the under eye area is a bit more sensitive, the skin is a little bit thinner, and I like knowing that these are formulated with that area in mind. Then I have a very well-loved product. This is the Hyaluronic Marine Oil-Free Moisture Cushion. And it's a moisturizer, oil-free moisturizer that comes in this beautiful jar. And it's this light blue color. It's kind of a gel cream consistency. I would say it's actually on the thicker side of gel creams. And for that reason, I know people of all skin types who love this. Even people with dry skin, I know oil-free 
often brings to mind something that's designed for normal to oily skin. And I know those folks will love this because that's me. But I also know people with dry skin who love this because it gives you really long-term moisture without heaviness. So, you know, there are some gel creams that you apply and it just kind of feels like they evaporate. This actually feels like it's deeply sinking into the skin and really hydrating over time and throughout the day. And lastly, I have one of the very few mineral SPFs that I really love. This is the All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. So this is all mineral and even though it is a mineral SPF it feels shockingly lightweight as the name says and it sinks in quickly and I won't say it doesn't leave a white cast. I honestly think all mineral SPFs just leave a white cast. They do but it is among the more sheer of mineral SPFs. I especially love this for my neck and decollete because I have eczema prone skin there and I'm very redness prone and this is a super gentle formula. It's unscented, it sinks in quickly, and I hate the feeling of having like goopy texture, like lotiony texture lingering on that area. And this actually sinks in really quickly and it's basically untraceable once it sinks in. I don't even notice it, I don't think about it, and I just think it's very, very elegantly formulated for a mineral SPF. The next brand is Kate Somerville, which is also 30% off and I think that's about as good as it gets. My current favorite eye cream and the one that I've been loving all year is from their more recent Kate Suticles line. This is the Lifting Eye Cream and it contains hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, as well as peptides to assist with, you know, anti-aging and all of that. For me, it's so weird. I don't know what it is in this eye cream, but it does have a kind of lifting effect. I'm someone that has hooded eyes and I struggle with puffiness. And when my eyes are puffy, they, it's almost like because they're puffy, they, looked, they look more weighed down. And when I use this eye cream, I noticed that I think because the puffiness is soothed, it has an overall lifted effect. And it's $120, it is not cheap, so 30% off of this is a hefty chunk of change. I actually will probably repurchase this myself because I like it so much that I don't want to be without it. I also really love the Delicate line. I don't have it in front of me, but it's the, it's the line that comes in purple packaging. And I know there's a serum and a cream, and they're really amazing for sensitive skin or like inflamed skin or angry skin if you have eczema. They're specifically formulated to be extra gentle, and so they don't have any actives, any potentially irritating ingredients. The cream especially is like rich and buttery, but it somehow just melts into the skin. And it provides like long-term hydration and like soft, pillowy skin, but it, it's not heavy even though it's richly nourishing. It's the weirdest thing, but I really like everything I've tried from that line. The next brand is MD Solar Sciences, and this is a brand that's newer to me. It's also been a 2021 discovery, and they have surprisingly filled gaps in my collection that I didn't know I had. The first product is the Mineral Tinted Creme SPF 30. Now this is a tinted all mineral SPF, and it's 2% um, titanium dioxide, 17% zinc oxide. Side. and it does have a very very slight tint it's not going to give you coverage by any means and it doesn't even really have a base color it's more that it compensates for the whiteness of a mineral that mineral SPFs have I find that this formula is very elegant it has a kind of whipped texture and a slippy silky feel that seems to smooth out the pores it works really beautifully as a primer under makeup. And I think especially people with oily skin will enjoy this because it has a slightly mattifying quality. Oftentimes I find these whipped mineral SPF formulas can be really greasy or they break down throughout the day. This one doesn't do that. It actually seems to set down and it doesn't break up. It doesn't get oilier and it doesn't feel like silicones are slipping around on your face throughout the day. It's like they've taken all of the textural downfalls of mineral SPF and they've made them elegant in this formula. The caveat with the mineral tinted creme is that it's 
a good tint that works for my skin tone. I have not seen reviews of this for deeper skin tones, so I just want you to be aware of that. The other formula that I love from them is the Hydrating Tinted Lip Balm with SPF 30. So this year I was on the hunt to find good lip products with SPF. I just feel like it's something we forget. We put sunscreen on our faces and our bodies and oftentimes our lips are left left out. So these have really filled that need. It's a high SPF, it's SPF 30, and they come in tinted versions that are actually quite elegant and really nice colors. So I have the shade pink and they come in these silver tubes. And I also have the shade Spice, which is a warmer color. They're deeper in the tube than they appear on the skin, so I will swatch these for you. These aren't super glossy. They're kind of more of a matte lip balm, and I actually don't mind that at all because I find that it helps, that slightly more matte quality helps them stick around longer, and they add a bit of color to the lips. So this is pink and this is spice. I also find that because the texture isn't super glossy, you're able to apply and reapply and get the appropriate amount of coverage across the lips rather than having the formula just slide around. And if, if it were slippy, I think I would worry about the sun protection. This one actually kind of stays on the lips and I feel confident that the SPF is actually protecting my lips. Next, I have a skincare device, and it's a device that I actually do use regularly, which you know, we can't say that about all the skincare devices we've ever had. I know you know what I mean. So this is the Dermaflash Lux, and this is a dermaplaning tool that you can use at home safely. I love this for removing peach fuzz, for removing facial hair, even for kind of working around my jawline where I tend to get peach fuzz, and it helps with texture. It's definitely going to exfoliate your skin physically as you're working across the face. So this is a rechargeable tool that has removable blades, and you can buy the blade replacements. And the blade, you can see there's a little divot here. You slide the blade in, and it's not sharp, um, you sort of work at an angle. Every time I use it, I'm shocked by how much peach fuzz comes off my face. And I find that when I'm using this, my skincare seems to sink in better. My makeup looks so much better because my foundation is going across a super smooth surface. And I like that the blades are disposable. You can repurchase new blades. It's very hygienic. And there are very clear directions on the website. It's not confusing. It's not hard to use. And you won't cut yourself doing it. So I feel like if you are someone that is conscientious about those things, it's nice to have a device at home that you can use and turn to and reuse because dermaplaning you know, as a treatment can get quite expensive. The next brand is Allies of Skin and they are going to be 25% off. So there are many, many products that I really like from Allies of Skin, two of which I like so much that I've emptied and I don't have in hand right now. The first is the Peptides and Antioxidants Daily Firming Treatment. It comes in a tube with a pump, which is my favorite kind of packaging. And this is enriched with peptides, it has antioxidants, so it is really great for supporting anti-aging as well as fighting off free radicals that can cause skin damage overall and oxidative stress. It is a really nice cream texture. It feels really bouncy and it absorbs quickly. It wears beautifully during the day, but it's also rich enough that I can wear it in the nighttime. And the packaging is super lightweight and it travels beautifully. This is one of those tubes that I liked so much that I cut it in half and I scooped it all out till the very last drop and I would love to have it back in my collection. Allies of Skin is also a pricier brand, so that 25% will go a long way at that price point. The second product that I emptied is the Molecular Silk Amino Hydrating Cleanser. So this comes in a silver tube and it is such a beautiful texture. The texture is really special. It's kind of like, it's almost as if a balm and a gel had a baby. It's not heavy the way a balm is, but it's kind of like a really rich, slightly oily gel. Um, maybe not oily, maybe more emollient, like an emollient gel cleanser. It really is like a hybrid texture that gives you the 
slip and the luxuriousness of a first cleanse and also washes away clean. So it's not heavy, it doesn't leave a film on the skin. I really love this as a second cleanse, a morning cleanse. I also love this as my only cleanse on days when I wasn't wearing makeup because it has that kind of slippy quality that allows you to really work it into the skin. I felt like it did a great job of cleansing off SPF, of cleansing off you know any dirt and grime from the day, but it gave me a thorough cleanse enough that I didn't feel like I needed a second cleanse after that. So it's just the kind of cleanser that I can see every skin type loving and and it is at a more approachable price point than some of their other products. And lastly, I love their Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Serum. I have it here somewhere, but we're in the middle of moving. Life is crazy, I don't know where it is. So this is a blend of Mandelic Acid, Salicylic Acid, and Lactic Acid. And this is actually a really powerhouse serum. You know, when we think of Mandelic, we think of the gentler acids, but this one actually has quite a kick. It is very effective. I feel like it's great for um, keeping acne at bay, it's great for fading pigmentation, it's great for retexturing, for reducing the appearance of pores. It is kind of an all-rounder because it has this blend of many different acids. It also contains peptides. It's a gel formula that sinks in really quickly and it also plays nicely with other skincare. So even though it is at a higher price point, it's kind of what you want to see in an acid at this price point. You wanna see a blend, you wanna see it supported by other ingredients, and you want to know that it's effective, and it really is. Then we have Holy Frog, and Holy Frog is 25% off. Now, Holy Frog first launched with a lineup of cleansers, and they really made a cleanser for every skin type and every skin need. So so I have two favorites. The first one is the Superior Omega Nutritive Gel Wash, and this is kind of a straightforward gel cleanser. I think normal to oily skin types especially will love this. It's great for a second cleanse. It's great for a morning cleanse. It is effective without stripping the skin. The way that some gel cleansers, they kind of leave your skin a little bit parched. This one doesn't do that. The next cleanser is probably my favorite, and it is the Tashmu Water Lily Nourishing Milky Wash. This is so beautiful. It's a cream cleanser, but it's a lightweight cream. And you know, some cream cleansers I find can almost feel like you're rubbing lotion into your skin. This one is super elegant. It's not filmy, it's not too, it doesn't like stick to the skin. It just gives you the right amount of slip that you get a thorough cleanse without stripping the skin, without leaving any film behind. And it's just really elegant. It is the cream cleanser that actually kicked off a cream cleanser obsession for me. I realized, oh, I actually do really like cream, cleans cream cleansers when I first started trying this. So yeah, I just love it. I think all skin types would love this as well. Holy Frog has since started formulating leave-on skincare products, and my favorite one is their Grand Amino Cushion Cream. This is so beautiful. It is full of peptides. It is rich without being too heavy, but it's very nourishing. It makes my skin feel really soft and plumped up and cushiony. It's not as rich as like a night cream. It's kind of on the lighter side of cream textures but I know people of all skin types who really really love this so I just pumped out a little bit onto my hand and I think you can see it's a white cream but it spreads out really quickly and it absorbs like very quickly it wears beautifully under makeup under sunscreen I even wear this at night it's just one of those rare cream textures that wears beautifully at any time of day Next, I have a skincare device that is totally worth it if you use it consistently. And the brand is New Face, and they are 25% off. So I have the New Face Trinity. This is a microcurrent device that essentially works to lift the skin. I couldn't tell you the science behind how it actually works, but it has different settings that you can work across and lift your jawline, lift your cheekbone, you can lift across the forehead, above your eyebrow. I have the New Face Trinity, so this is the standard attachment that it comes with, but this attachment comes off and I can purchase 
other attachments and use it with the same device. So there's an eye and lip attachment as well as a wrinkle reducer attachment. There's also the New Face Mini, which is a smaller version of this. It does not work with the other attachments, but if you kind of just wanna get a sense for how it works and if you like it, the Mini is a nice entry point. There's also the New Face skin toning device, which has a handle and it's essentially um, meant to work across different planes of your body. So you could work on it on your thighs, you can work on it on your arms. I have not tried that one personally, but I know people who do use it and swear by it. I think if you've been eyeing New Face and it's a device you've been wanting to try, 25% off is a really significant amount for a device that runs for hundreds of dollars. And they have a bunch of different bundles, which is nice. They have bundles for holiday. They have bundles that come with the conductive gel. This does require the conductive gel. So if you need a top up on that, you can buy that on sale. So that's all to say, I think this is a really nice investment if you're going to use it and that 25% off will get you a long way at this price point. I also think this is a really nice gift for a mom, for a grandma, for an auntie. You know, this is something that would be really really nice to receive and the 25% off makes it a much more approachable price point. The next brand is Skin Medica and they are 20% off select dates. So when I think of Skin Medica, my brain automatically goes to their retinols because that was the very first retinol I ever used. So they offer the Retinol Complex, which is their line of retinols of varying strengths. So I think they go 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and 1.0, which is on the stronger side. 0.25 is a great place to start. It's a low concentration, it's easy to incorporate, and they're formulated so well. Even though it is a retinoid, they have a lot of moisturizing properties and emollient ingredients in the formula itself. So you could just cleanse and use the retinol complex and you wouldn't even have to really apply another moisturizer on top. You could, but you don't have to because the formula is so robust and it's designed to support your skin so that the retinol can do its thing without irritating the skin. And I never once had terrible um, reactions or you know retinization if you're scared of using retinols this is a great place to start because they're very well formulated skin medica also has two cult classic products the Lytera, which is meant to brighten pigmentation help with melasma that sort of thing and also the TNS serum which has growth factors it's meant to support anti-aging so those are also at two very high price points and that 25% off will go a long way the next brand is Bioderma, which is 20% off, and oh man, I have so many Bioderma favorites. To me, Bioderma just does a great job of creating workhorse products that are at an approachable price point, but without compromising efficacy. First up is a product I have in my stash at all times. It's their micellar water, and this is the big one that comes with the pump. And I just love this. It's really gentle, but it's effective. It removes waterproof makeup. I always go in, if I'm wearing eye makeup, I always go in and remove it with um, a cotton and the micellar water before I use a cleansing balm. I just like the more gentle effect on my eyes and I feel like I really trust this formula not to be too harsh. It won't sting my eyes. It won't make my eyes water. It just does its job really, really well. Another product that perpetually lives in my shower is the Bioderma Autoderm Cleansing Oil. So this is a cleansing oil for the body and I it's completely changed the body cleansing game for me. So it's not super thick and heavy as a cleansing oil for the face. It's a bit of a looser texture, a little bit more fluid, but it cleanses the body while also hydrating it. And so when you step out of the shower, or out of the bath, you're already moisturized. Like you don't get that tight feeling on your body as it's drying and you're like, oh my gosh, I need to get my body lotion on. Especially in cooler weather, it's 
it's nourishing on the skin while it cleanses it. I also love this for shaving. This is one of the smaller bottles, but we actually always keep a liter in the shower because Sean uses it, I use it, we both use it liberally, and the liter lasts a really long time. I know some people actually do use this as a cleansing oil on the face. I haven't done that, so I can't speak to its qualities there, but I know that some people really use it in a multi-purpose way. I love to follow up the cleansing oil with the Autoderm Cream, which is a body lotion. It comes in a big pump, and I know people that use this for face and body. So this is a really nourishing cream. It has a nice silky texture. It's rich, but it sinks in, and it's spreadable. It's not sticky at all, and the Autoderm line is specifically designed with sensitive skin in mind. So there's no added fragrance. It's great for if I'm having um, a flare-up of eczema. It's great for preventing flare-ups of eczema. It just kind of does it all. And it's just such a pleasant texture to use, especially in the winter when your skin might need a little bit of extra nourishment. And lastly, I have to recommend the Sensi Bio Eye Contour Gel, which is a gel consistency eye cream. It comes in a little white tube. I've used up many of them in my life. And it's kind of a straightforward eye cream. It's a light gel cream. It sinks in quickly. Quickly. It seems to smooth out the under eye area. It wears beautifully under makeup. For me, it's something that I prefer during the day because it's a little bit more lightweight, but you could use it in the evening and I'm sure you'd be perfectly happy with it too. So it's, it's just a great, straightforward, easy to get, accessible price point eye cream. Then we have Elta MD, which is such a cult favorite. I know many of you really love it for an SPF that you can really trust. I've gone through several bottles of the UV Clear in the past. I don't have it on hand. I know so many people turn to Elta MD and really wait for these sales to stock up on the SPFs that they love. So 20% off is a great deal. Next up is Peter Thomas Roth, which is also 20% off. My favorite from the brand and the standout product for me is the AHA BHA acne clearing gel. This is a small bottle of it, but the full size is I think about three ounces. So this is a blend of glycolic and salicylic acid. And I find that this is just the best thing for spot treatment. I really like this on whiteheads as well as cystic spots. And not every acne treatment product works for cystic spots, but I find that because there's a blend of both AHA and BHA in this, it seems to penetrate a little bit deeper than certain other spot treatments that I've tried. So if you're dealing with acne, with active breakouts, cystic breakouts, this is definitely something that I think is worth a try. Next up is one of my favorite K-beauty brands, and that is CauseRx, and the whole brand is 20% off. So they make some of my absolute skincare care essentials. Specifically, I have to have their acne patches with me at all times. Their acne pimple master patch comes in the red packaging and that one is a little bit thicker of a pimple patch and it's great for absorbing any gunk out of active breakouts. The clear fit master patch comes in the black packaging and that one is great for daytime. It's a very, very thin patch that's kind of a matte finish, so it's really undetectable on the skin. I wear it during the daytime all the time. I mean, I don't think there should be any shame around acne patches, but if you are self-conscious, this is the one to go for because it is so thin and so traceless. It's not as absorbent as the red patches because it is thinner, but if you just want a little bit of protection and you want to cover up a breakout during the day, that's the one I'd turn to. Then there are two masks from CauseRx that I really love. And overall, I have to say CauseRx has such a great price point. It's definitely a place to start if you're just getting into skincare or if you're getting into into K-Beauty. They just have products that work for a lot of different skin types. So the first mask that I love is the Ultimate Nourishing Rice Mask. And this is a it's called a mask, but it's more of a lotion-y texture. I think it's not quite as rich and as thick as you think of with some night masks. The best part about this though is that it's very calming and I find quite brightening for the skin. Rice is known for its brightening and skin tone evening qualities 
and I find that whenever I use this, I do wake up with brighter, more even-toned skin. The sister product to that is the Ultimate Moisturizing Honey Mask, and I love anything with honey in it. This one is just as nourishing and beautiful in texture, and if you like honey in skincare, you'll like this. It's not sticky the way that honey is, but it has those healing properties that honey can have in skincare. Next up, I have Saint Tropez, and they make really great self-tanners. Saint Tropez is also 20% off. My favorite product from them is the Purity Bronzing Water Face mist. I think that's what it's called. I don't have it on hand right now, but I love that it's a clear self-tanning liquid that comes in a spray bottle. And the spray is very elegant. You're not going to get weird drops on your face and it's quite subtle. So it allows you to mist it on in an even coverage across your face. You don't have to be like super perfect or precise with it. And because it's subtle, it develops slowly. So you could use this a couple of days in a row to get to where you want without worrying about over bronzing too much too quickly at once. Next up is Paula's Choice, which is 15% off. And if you've followed me for any amount of time, you know I love so many products from the brand. So I'm gonna go through them quickly. First up, I'd recommend the C15 Super Booster, which is an L ascorbic vitamin C. It just does a great job at brightening the skin, at fading dark spots and pigmentation, and overall giving you a glow. If you're oily or acne prone, the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant is like their star product for a reason. For me, it helps keep breakouts at bay, it helps balance oiliness, and overall, it helps my pores appear smaller. I love the entire Omega Complex line, but I especially love the cleansing balm. It's a cleansing balm that comes in a tube, which is great, and it's great for sensitive skins because it doesn't contain any essential oils or fragrance. It's just a very straightforward, very effective cleansing balm that even destroys waterproof makeup. I also love the Omega Complex Moisturizer. That one has a really nice, rich consistency, especially if you have dehydrated or dry skin. And the Omega Complex Eye Cream. That one is really beautiful. It's on the richer side of eye creams, so I think it's great if you have mature skin, if you have crow's feet, if you have sensitive skin, it's great for that. And it's also great for nighttime. For oily skins, I think the water-infused electrolyte moisturizer is great. This is like a gel cream it has a sort of a transformative texture that once it hits the skin it kind of turns into you know like a watery gel that sinks in really really quickly paula's choice makes one of my favorite spfs this is the daily youth extending daily hydrating fluid spf 50. it's a really beautiful milky serum texture it's very fluid and so it sinks in quickly it spreads out quickly it's easy to layer if you want extra protection it's easy to reapply and it gives you high spf coverage it's kind of everything Thing I want in an SPF. Really quickly, I have been getting into Paula's Choice Body Care, and I just want to say that they are very underrated. So there's body care for all different kinds of body concerns. So first up, I have the Weightless Body Treatment 2% BHA. So this is a body lotion that contains BHA. So if you have back breakouts, if you have breakouts on your chest, if you have ingrown hairs, this is a great option because it nourishes the skin while the BHA works on deeper levels around your oil glands to help prevent breakouts, all of that good stuff. There's also a body lotion with AHA that I think is great if you have keratosis pilaris, if you have rough skin, scaly skin around your knees and your elbows, if you're feeling a little bit ashy, it's great for chemically exfoliating the skin more on the surface. They also do an acne body spray with salicylic acid which makes it easy to reach, for example, your back. And so you could spray, it's like more of a fluid liquid consistency that you can spray on different parts of your body with the BHA. And lastly, they make a great body SPF. This is the Extra Care Non-Greasy Broad Spectrum SPF. It has a very silky texture. It's all chemical 
as the name says, it sinks in really quickly. It's not sticky, it's not greasy, and it's kind of like a summertime must have. I mean, a year round must have, but especially in the summertime. Durham Store also carries Estee Lauder, which is 15% off. So I really love the Advanced Night Repair. It's their iconic skincare product, and I think it's excellent. And it's one of those products that I like to use, my mom likes to use, my grandma likes to use. We've all used it and loved it. It's a beautiful texture that's not too rich, but it is moisturizing and hydrating, and it's iconic for a reason. I also love the Advanced Night Repair I Concentrate Matrix Synchronized Recovery. It's a long name. I don't have it in front of me, but it's the eye cream that comes with the little wand inside, and I love this eye cream. It's the eye cream that actually made me realize I like eye creams because my mom gave it to me, and I was like, I'll give it a try, and I loved it. It's nourishing, it's lightweight, but it's very silky, and I feel like it does a great job of hydrating and kind of plumping up the eye area. If you have fine lines, it kind of smooths out the fine lines. It's beautiful in the evening, and I can also use it during the day. It's just a great all-rounder. Then I have a couple of brands that don't get a percentage off, but you do get extra points for your purchase. So SkinCeuticals is one of those brands and you get three times the points for your purchase. So essentially, instead of 5% cash back for your dollar spent, you are getting 15% back. SkinCeuticals has so many cult classics. Of course, their CE Ferulic is iconic. It's kind of the top of the line vitamin C serum that started the vitamin C serum craze. I also really love the Phyto Corrective Gel. It's their green colored serum. It's like a really vibrant green. And that one is great for calming and soothing the skin, especially if you have redness or if you have rosacea, if you have any underlying um, like skin conditions that cause heat in the skin, I find that it's very, very cooling and soothing for that. Personally, I just picked up their AGE eye cream and I'm really excited to test that out and dig into it myself. La Roche-Posay is also a brand that has three times the points. So some of my favorites from the line are the Cicaplast Balm, which is a balm texture. It comes in a squeezy tube and it's great for irritated skin, for eczema, for any skin condition that requires healing and calming. It contains zinc in the formula, so it's great for that purpose. It sort of helps calm and heal the skin overall. I also love their Lipicar Body Balm, which is their body lotion. It comes in a big pump tube and that's also very nourishing. It's great for sensitive skin and it's moisturizing without being sticky. I also think La Roche-Posay does excellent SPFs. I mean, they have SPF science down. So this is the light fluid SPF that comes in that shaky bottle, and this one is more of a light fluid consistency. It's almost like a milky serum. And this one is SPF 60. And the other one I love is their Melt-In SPF, and this is the SPF 100. And I loved this for the summer. I spent a lot of time in the pool this summer, and this is also water resistant up to 80 minutes so I really trusted that I was getting great sun protection with this line. Okay, so that is everything for skincare. We're gonna get into hair care, again, starting with the brands with the highest discount and descending. First up, I have Briogeo, which is 30% off. And Briogeo is one of my favorite hair care lines. They have a product for every hair type and every hair need. One of my favorite products and one I've used for many years is the Scalp Revival Coconut Oil Micro exfoliating shampoo. So this comes in a tub and it is a kind of gray color and it has little tiny beads in it, not a harsh scalp scrub by any means, but just enough to really clarify the scalp and really lift up any excess product, any buildup, any dandruff. It has a bit of menthol in it, so it has a, a bit of a cooling effect as you rub it into the scalp. And this is the kind of thing you wanna take your time with. You wanna add a little bit of water and work it into a lather and repeat that throughout your hair. And for me, this is what I use on days when I need a really clarifying shampoo. That said, it's not so clarifying that it strips the hair. It's still moisturizing and it's still rich enough that it doesn't completely dry out my hair. Then I love to follow up with the Don't Despair Repair Conditioning Mask. So this is beautiful. It's 
has a lightly floral, creamy floral smell. It's very, very hydrating and moisturizing and detangling. And yet surprisingly, the texture is not too thick or too heavy. It doesn't weigh down my hair. It rinses out and it doesn't feel like my hair is left greasy or oily. It just does the job of really moisturizing and smoothing the hair without adding heaviness and oiliness the way that some hair masks do. So I really love this. I've gone through countless tubs of this in my life. For a very, very serious cleansing moment, I turned to Christophe Roban, which is also 30% off. This is the cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. And this is almost like rock salt that's bound together with oils and sort of more nourishing ingredients. And this is something you also want to spend time on because as the salt dissolves in your scalp with water, it does turn into an actual lather and it gives you the most serious cleanse. Like if you have days and days of dry shampoo or just product buildup and you need to get it out, this is what I would turn to for the most serious cleanse. Then I would follow that up with the regenerating mask with prickly pear oil. This is seriously deeply moisturizing. It has a kind of powdery floral scent, but it, um, really nourishes the hair. It's like a deeper moisture than even the Briogeo. For me, the Briogeo is kind of an everyday moisture. This is like when my hair needs really, really serious help. And it does really nourish and soften the hair with use. Next, we are getting into hair tools and accessories. And this next thing is something I just can't be without. I have my Aquas hair turbans and Aquas is also 30% off. So I have two here to show you the different textures, but this is basically a hair turban that you twist around your wet hair and you flip it up and you can button it at the back of your head. And essentially it cuts your drying time down significantly and it reduces damage because it is a microfiber towel and you're, you basically leave it in and it assists in air drying more quickly. So there are two textures for their hair turbans. This one is the Lux Lease version. This is a different color. This is their like copper version. It's like a special edition of the towel, but it's the same fabric essentially. This is the waffle texture. So I think you can see there's a very regular waffle pattern. They're both the same size. They're both very, very soft and just as effective as each other in helping to cut down the air drying time. They also wash really well. I just throw them in the washer with all my other laundry and I do tend to air dry these. I think you can machine dry them though if you want. I've had, I have a couple of these that I've had for many, many years and they've all worn well over time. Like I've had no loose threads, no fraying, no falling apart, no tears. They look basically the same as the first day I got them. So they're a great investment and I actually think these make a great gift because it's the kind of thing that is useful if you have long hair, but you might not purchase for yourself. And I've gifted them before and I think they make great gifts. Next up, I have some serious hair tools that are all 30% off. First up, I have Harry Josh and the Harry Josh line is all 30% off. So this is a blow dryer, the iconic Harry Josh mint green blow dryer. I actually purchased this from Derm Store myself like five years ago, and it is a very expensive blow dryer. I won't lie to you. It's like $230 or something. And I remember I had had Derm Store points on top of, I think, a Black Friday sale. And so I picked this up for significantly less than the full price. For me, this has been a great investment. It just gives me the softest, smoothest blow dry. I feel like my hair never feels fried. It never feels overdone. It has adjustable heat settings, but it's very easy to use. I like that the blow dryer itself is quite small. It's not the lightest, but I like that it's a manageable size because, you know, your arms get tired when you're blow drying. It also comes with different attachments or you can purchase different attachments like a diffuser if you'd like. For me, and if you're someone that blow dries your hair a lot, I think having a nice blow dryer is one of those investments that pays off because you're not frying your hair over time, especially if it's color treated or if you're bleaching your hair or if you're doing anything to chemically process the hair, you just want to reduce 
any kind of damage, period. And having a blow dryer that you can really trust won't fry your hair is kind of a key tool in that. Next, I have a few T3 tools, and T3 is also 30% off, which is major at this price point. So I had the opportunity to explore a few T3 tools this year, and I really didn't know what I was missing out on until I tried these. So first up, I have the Lucia 1-inch ID straightener. So this is your standard hair straightener, but it has a touch screen that lights up right here when it's turned on, and it has a few different modes that you can straighten your hair. You can also program it to say if your hair is chemically treated or if you've bleached it or if you want a certain heat setting and it remembers all of those settings. So you don't need to get the smart version, but it is nice to have if you're someone that uses your straightener a lot. There's also a version of this that doesn't have the touch screen that is at a lower price point. My most used hair tool this year is the T3 Twirl. So this is a curling iron that it's it's a classic clamp curling iron that comes with three different size wands. So this is the middle size, there's also a smaller size wand, and a bigger one than this. I think this is the 1.25 inch. So this is detachable and you can remove the wand and add in, you can clip in any size wand that you want. And they also sell separate sized wands if you want to swap any in and out or get any other sizes. It's just a great system. I find that this iron really reduces damage. I don't get any hairs caught in any of the mechanics around here. The wand itself is very sturdy, even though you can switch it in and out. There's no shaking, no movement. It's just a really, really high quality tool. This also comes in the T3 World Trio, so that's the version that's just a wand and not a clamp, if you're more into that. Or you can purchase any of these without the detachable quality. You could just buy the 1.25 curling iron on its own if you know you're not gonna use the other attachments. So all in all, the T3 systems I find are very elegant. They work really well. I find that they minimize damage. My hair doesn't get fried or stuck in any of the parts in any of the clamps and it's just a really elegant and seamless hairstyling system. Derm Store also has Unite for 30% off. Unite makes my all-time favorite detangling spray. If you have tangly hair, fine hair, hair that you just cannot brush out, the seven seconds detangler will do it. It's just the best detangling spray. It also has protective qualities, heat protecting, UV protecting, but I primarily use it on wet hair for its detangling properties. Next up I have Sasha One, which is all 25% off. And I had the opportunity to work with Sasha One earlier this year and try out a bunch of their products. And I feel like they're really underrated in the American market. So I especially love their dry shampoo. I loved the version for dark hair, but the regular version works great too. It's not the most cleansing dry shampoo, but I actually found it was a nice styling tool. It added a bit of texture, a bit of body and volume. I also really liked their styling cream. That was a nice product that you can apply through wet hair if you're going to blow dry it. It adds a bit of shine and body, and it also helps with heat protection. Then I've got another favorite hair care brand and that is Living Proof, which is 20% off. So my all-time favorite dry shampoo is their Perfect Hair Day dry shampoo. I love this thing. I've gone through probably dozens of bottles of this in my life. It's just a dry shampoo that you can use even multiple days in a row and your hair will both look clean and feel clean. They also came out with an advanced clean version of this this year that comes in a silver bottle and I love that. That one is even more cleansing than this one. So if you need a little bit more oomph, a little bit more hardcore dry shampoo action, that's the one for you. Lastly, there are a few hair care brands that you don't get a percentage off of, but you do get extra points. So Olaplex is one of those brands and you will get three times the points for your purchase. Personally, I think Olaplex kits are the way to go. They have a healthy hair essentials kit that contains their number three, which is their iconic bond repair product. 
and they have their shampoo, conditioner, and hair oil. And it's a nice way to try the line, and I love all four of those products. Derm Store also has an exclusive set that contains a full size number three, full size number four, and five, so the shampoo and conditioner. And I think that one's really nice because you get the full eight point something ounces of each bottle. And it's just nice to get those in a full size in a set and get a few dollars off. And lastly, Orbe is a brand with which you get three times the points. I love their dry texturizing spray. In fact, I used it in my hair today. I feel like it creates a really voluminous kind of PC undone hair look and it has a cult following for a reason. I tried it for the first time this year and I did really love it. I also love the Orbe Power Drops Repair Booster. It comes in a little like serum bottle and it is a serum texture that you apply through the mids and the ends of your hair. And it has a smoothing quality to it without adding any weight or body or texture. So it just seems to almost like seal the hair cuticle. So if you have any split ends or breakage or damage, it just seems to strengthen the hair cuticle even when it's dry. Lastly from Orbe is their Cote d'Azur hand cream. And this is a hand cream that comes in their iconic Cote d'Azur scent, which is citrusy, it's bright, it's really fresh. It comes in a beautiful gold tube with a gold key that you can turn because it is an aluminum tube. You use the key to fold the tube down. And I think this is a beautiful gift. It's something I would love to receive, but I would never treat myself to necessarily. And the, the scent is just so fresh and beautiful. It's something that's obviously overlooked in Orbe because people think of them and they think of hair, but the hand cream is really good and it is very nourishing. So we are moving now into makeup and the first brand I want to talk about is By Terry, which is 30% off. By Terry is a luxury brand, so that 30% is pretty significant at this price point. I know a lot of people really love the Hydra Powder, their loose and pressed versions, as well as their Balm de Rose, which is kind of their iconic rose scented lip balm. Personally, I just picked up the VIP Expert Palette in number four, Bonjour Paris, and it looks beautiful. I have not tried their eyeshadow formula before, but I'm excited to try it. It's full of like smoky bronzes, of warm tone bronzes, of slightly rosy bronzes, and I just can't wait to get my hands on it. I also really love their Ombre Black Star Cream Eyeshadows. They're cream eyeshadows that come in stick form. They're really easy to just swipe on the eyes and blend it out with a finger or with a brush and they set down and they are very long lasting. I really loved the shade Misty Rock. I've since used it up and decluttered it, but it's a beautiful kind of smoky, rosy shade. And they're all very complex and twinkly, but not so glittery that they're obvious. They are daytime appropriate and a kind of sophisticated glam. The next brand is Kevin Aquan, which is also 30% off, also a luxury makeup brand, so that 30% is really nice. They make one of my favorite mascaras, the Volume Mascara, and this is the only tubing mascara that is truly, truly volumizing. Like this creates full, fluttery, fluffy lashes, and most tubing mascaras are mostly just lengthening, honestly. So I think that's because the brush itself is a natural fiber brush, and even though it's quite small, it's really good at building volume and creating a very, very black, inky black, full lash look. And of course it's a tubing formula so it rinses away really easily with water and you can just see the fibers come right off. It's very, very satisfying. Lately I've really been loving the Kevin Aquan Lip Liner, the unforgettable lip definer in the shade Divine. So this is a quite cool toned lip liner and on me it's almost that 90s lip look. You can see it has that kind of brown undertone and it's really creamy, really pink pigmented. It is a true pencil lip liner, so I feel like those are the kinds of lip liners that they're creamy on application, but once they set, they really, really set, and it tends to be quite long-lasting. 
I love this shade because it's something I can wear with a more nude lip or I can go deeper. I've even worn it under a red lip just so that I could more easily kind of overline the lips and it's a great shade for that because it's still quote unquote natural but it has a bit of edge and drama to it too. Lastly, I wanna mention the Neo Blush and Neo Bronzer formula from Kevin Aquan. So mine is broken because I've used it so much. Let me show you. This is the shade Rose Cliff. Oh, dangerous. It's beautiful. It has like a beige rose quality to it with a more cool toned rose on the other side. It's an ombre effect across the pan. And so one side is shimmery and one side is not, but when you blend them together, you get the most perfect soft satin look. And I loved this shade Rose Cliff, especially in the summer with a lot of bronzer. It gave me a kind of bronzy rose look. I think because of the beige undertone of the left side of the pan, it was just beautiful. I just think the formula is really stunning. It's very elegant and super soft and one of those powders that doesn't look powdery. It actually melts into the skin and starts to look quite skin-like. Next up is Cover FX, which is all 20% off. Now, I really love the Power Play line from Cover FX. That is their concealer and foundation. The shade G Plus Medium 1 is such a great match for me. It is an olive undertone with a bit of golden in it, but it's very neutral. It's not warm, and I feel like Cover FX does olive undertones really, really well. The concealer is definitely full coverage, and it's long lasting. It has a slightly self setting quality to it, but it just looks really skin like, even though it is full coverage. The foundation is the same way. It has a natural, slightly natural matte finish, but even though it has high coverage, it just looks very, very skin like. So I feel like the Power Play line in, in general is just underrated. One of my favorite offerings from Cover FX is their monochromatic blush duos. So these are blushes with dual pans, and one side is a matte blush and one side is a baked gelée, and they are just so smooth, so silky, so elegant, and very, very skin-like as they kind of melt into the skin. So this one is Soft Peach. This one is Warm Honey and this one is Spiced Cinnamon. I know people who really don't like powder blush who still really like this formula because of how skin-like it is. I will also say these are deeper on the skin than they appear in the pan. They are very, very pigmented. So you might look at Warm Peach and think, oh, that's for fair skin, but actually, it has quite a bit of punch when you apply it to the skin, so just be aware of that. There are also three, two or three other shades in this formula that are all really beautiful. I just happen to have all the warm toned ones because that's what I like. And then there is Beauty Blender, one of the most iconic tools, which is 20% off. I really love the Beauty Blender Pro, the black sponge. I also really like the Beauty Blender Solid Soap. I feel like it's just super effective and it's not like you need Beauty Blender soap, but paired with the Beauty Blender, like nothing gets product out of that sponge like their own soap, which I guess is not that surprising. I also really like their Beauty Blender case, their travel case. It's nice to have if you're someone that does travel a lot and you're very attached to your sponge. It's specifically designed to hold the Beauty Blender, but it's compact, it's easy to throw in your makeup bag, and the case itself gets airflow so the sponge can dry while it's still in your bag. Next I have Kier Weiss, which is a newer brand to me, and they are 15% off in the Derm Store sale. So I have one product from them that I've been really enjoying and it's their cream blush which looks like this. This is in the shade Desired Glow, which is a beautiful warm peach. And this is a true like classic cream blush formula. It's creamy, it has a bit of body, it is not matte, but it's also not too, too dewy. And it blends out really beautifully on the skin. I'm just gonna swatch it for you here. I love that they have their refillable packaging. So you buy the pan and the and the compact separately. And there is a silver version of this compact that's beautiful. It's a little bit pricier. This is their red compact, which is I think around $8. 
and this is the shade Desired Glow. I think you can see it's kind of like a bronzed peach. Such a me kind of color. I could wear this every day and I would be totally happy. And I feel like this blends out well with a brush, with a sponge, with fingers. It's just the kind of formula that's easy to apply. The last category is body care, and I have just a few products that I want to recommend that are a nice treat and an indulgence. The first are from Herbivore, which is 15% off the whole brand, and I really love their bath products, like their Coco Rose Body Polish. It's a beautiful body scrub that has that coconut rose scent. I also love their Coco Bath Soak, which you sprinkle into your bath, it dissolves, it smells really nice, and it's an indulgent moment. Finally, I'm going to mention Suzanne Kaufman which is also 15% off so this is a new to me brand I just ordered some of the products and I've been lusting after them forever people who have used Suzanne Kaufman love it so I picked up the um, oil bath for the senses so it's an oil that you pour into your bath it nourishes the skin and it smells nice and I cannot wait to try it I also picked up the mallow blossom bubble bath and I can't wait to try it I love taking baths personally it's just such a nice way to unwind and de-stress and so I don't mind having an indulgent bath moment for me it's like a treat and I feel like Suzanne Kaufman really gets it right so I'm excited to try those and those are on their way to me right now so everything I've discussed today will be linked below and I will also have my blog post linked here it's going to have links to gift sets and other items that I maybe didn't get to mention in this video for the sake of time if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching I would love for you to like and subscribe and thanks again to derm store for partnering with me on this video I hope you enjoy the sale I hope you shop responsibly and most of all I'm wishing you happy holidays to you and your loved ones I'll see you in my next video bye